I've just made the cast. I've got about a 20 foot leader on now with that white metal beaded ice cream cone. I'm now letting it sink down to about a, within a foot of the bottom. So I'm going to wait about 30 seconds before I start a very, very slow hand twist retrieve. And while I'm doing that hand twist retrieve, every once in a while, maybe every 20 or 30 seconds, I'm going to do a couple of those quick pulls just to make that fly move slightly erratically. The fly is actually going to be moving in a horizontal plane through the water, even though the real pupa are rising up to the surface of the lake vertically, they're rising vertically to the surface of the lake. We're, we're betting on the fact that the fish are feeding closer to the bottom in a narrow depth zone, which they often do. And um, this fly, although it's moving horizontally, it's standing out because we're, we're, first of all, we're retrieving it very slowly. And secondly, once in a while, we give that little erratic couple pulls. The other thing you want to remember too is my tip of my rod is right on the surface film or in the surface film because if you're holding it on a 45 degree angle you're going to have a belly in the line and that belly acts like a shock absorber when you get a strike the, the, the uh, force of the strike is going to be picked up in that slack and you're not going to feel it so you want to keep that rod tip close there's a fish I just saw that line just hesitate and move to the side a bit. There she is, ready to go. So that's how you fish a fly naked or a crown of a pupa naked. It takes a little bit more practice because I'm using a long leader. You know, I've got a 20 foot leader on here, so you've got to slow down your cast. You've got to widen the arc. You don't want real tight loops when you're casting long leaders. You want to slow everything down to make sure that fly line is going to lay down and your fly is going to not get uh, tangled on your leader and you're not going to get a, um, a tailing loop.